Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. We're back on the 2.29 dev server and it's time to have a look at what I am actually looking forward to the most in the Hungarian tech tree. I feel like a lot of people are looking at the KF41 and wondering how it's going to play and how will it fit in the metas. And for me, uh, the simple fact is, I am a simple man and I see a quite fun mid-tier gun and I see a medium tank and I see okay armor in areas and just go, that'll be nice. And uh, I'll be playing the Turan 3. Basically what this is, is a Panzer IV at home. Uh, you have access to the 75mm 43M cannon, uh, which is quite a nice one. Very similar stats to the 75mm from the Germans. Then you have a five-man crew, so if your turret gets popped, you do actually survive, which is quite nice. The ammo uh, is in areas which are away from the crew, so... It will actually be harder to hit the ammo compared to just hitting the crew. So you can see actually the, the ammo is on these like little angled plates. So unless you're like angled here uh, to hit it, it's not really going to work too well. And then uh, one of the things we got to bring up. So obviously it has the 75mm. 75mm nice. Everybody's on board with the 75mm. Has a decent reload, has very good gun depression for what it is, and also has okay targeting speed on it. Now, most vehicles in mid-tiers rely on three things. Mobility, armor, firepower. The firepower on this, fantastic. The armor, eh, I mean, it's, it's not great. Uh, let, let's be honest, um, because it's 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 got the cardinal sins. You know, it has the lower glacis, which has 35 millimeters and then 15 under it. So it has 50 millimeters. Then it has a flat 75. Then it has another flat 75. And you're like, OK, 75 millimeters, not great, not bad. But yeah, it can get penned by a lot of stuff. Then it has some ridiculous weak spots uh, on this armor. So first of all, you have this plate here where the breach is. It might be a little bit tougher because there's a few armor values on top of each other, so the rounds might disappear. But then you have this port, the good old port for the driver here. It's 25 millimeters, so you just have a 25 millimeter hole in the middle of your flat piece of 75. Then this is also 25 millimeters, so you have two shoot me holes in the middle of the hole. And then on top, you have 25 millimeters here, um, which uh, means that it's incredibly easy to go through and annihilate the crew. And then 50 millimeters here. So if you're coming up a ridge or if you're coming over a crevice or you're trying to be sneaky or, you know, trying to get the first shot off, you'll be able to see this from absolutely miles away. Like it is just nuts. Um, how many little weak spots this has. So just for example, one of the vehicles you will see constantly in this thing that is also 3.7 at the moment is the uh, T-3441. So if we give it the correct uh, round uh, that it will use, which is this one, the 350B MDM-8 fuse, that is what it goes through. So that is your armor core. Uh, you can see you can pen 90% of the vehicle, and this vehicle is literally at, you know, the uh, at the different at the same echelon of the game as it. So the same BR. So you can literally hit it anywhere, and you will do ridiculous amounts of damage to the vehicle. The only issue is if you do stuff like that, where you're going to get it caught between angles. But because so much of it is just straight up flat. It's just going to go straight through and just annihilate stuff. So that is a bit of a problem. Uh, the other thing is this armor is amazing because of the fact that no matter what shell gets fired at you, it has weaknesses to it. So if you have standard AP, you should be able to just go through the flat part. If you have AP with HE filler, you do the same thing uh, or and, you know, you can shoot wherever. Uh, but if you don't have the penetration, you can shoot lower glacis or you can shoot up here. If you have Hesh or HE or Heat, you can shoot here and it will go through and it will do damage too. So it's actually quite an impressive vehicle in terms of its armor because it's worse at everything. Uh, like it doesn't have a round that it's good at, 
because of how it's set up, which is just hilarious. Uh, the five-man crew uh, will give it at least some normalcy. It does also have a coaxial 8mm 3440M, and the smoke grenade launchers have made it back as well on the booty. Now, the engine on this thing is uh, 260 horsepower. One of the surprising things to me is when I look at this vehicle, look how massive it is. You know, look how much armor it has and all of these things. Then look at this, right? Look at this. The difference between this vehicle here and this vehicle is only a ton. Only a ton, which is super surprising because of the fact that it's so much bigger. Uh, then you also have 35 millimeters of armor on the side. So once again, more than the other machine. I wonder if they've actually got the mass right on this thing because it doesn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, but you do still have, as I said, the 260 horsepower engine, and also the transmission is different uh, compared to the uh, other vehicles. So you can't go as fast backwards as you can forwards, so therefore uh, you will be getting into scenarios and not being able to kind of get out of them. Now, the gun. The gun itself has the 43M Pansel Granat. This gives it very good penetration, very good post-pen effect. If you've ever used the Long Barrel 75 for the Germans on the Panzer 4F2, Panzer 4G, Panzer 4H, any of these vehicles, you'll know how powerful the Long 75 is. And there's no difference with the Turan 3. It's going to be super powerful as well. The stock round is the best. Then you also have a HE, which you'll never use. And then you'll have a Heat, which... If you do use, uh, you have um, issues um, when it comes to understanding the game. The heat is at rank 2, even though you research it, even though it's the one to get to modify the vehicle. Just use the stock round, you'll do much better and have a decent time with it. You also have artillery, since it's a medium tank, but nothing else really kind of, like, comes out of the woodwork. Only the smoke grenades, which are the ones on the back, but because you don't have the good reverse, it's not going to be as useful as other vehicles. So, looking at it, there's a lot of nice things about it, but some fundamental flaws with its armor. Also, it has pretty stiff competition in the 3-7 area. It is a rank 3, so you'll be able to do dailies and specials with it, which is great. But, you got the Chaffee at rank 3, the M4A4 at rank 3, you got the M4 Hybrid at rank 3, the Panzer 4G at rank, at, at rank 3, all the same BR 3.7. Plus, you got the Semavente 1953 at 3.7, and also the Contrario that you can run as an AA. So, there isn't a lot of space for the Turan 3, uh, if I'm honest with you. This is one of the areas of the game that just did not need bolstering uh, for the Italian tech tree, but if it fits, it fits. And it does give something, at least most people will be able to grind out, will be able to have a bit of fun with, because if you get the first shot off, you'll just be able to annihilate whatever is in front of you. And that, to me, is something that's super important and super pretty much fun. So, the turret rotation is fine on it. The overall traverse is not great. The vehicle itself does feel pretty heavy to move around with and also is just huge. It's a massive target and that cannot be understated. One of the nice things about the Panzer IV is it isn't exactly huge so you know you can get in and get out and also cover some of the weak spots you're not going to be able to do that with this whatever you aim or wherever you angle you're going to have a weak spot in some way it should be able to do a decent amount of damage to t-34s it still should be able to do a lot of stuff uh two of the vehicles which is grand but also at the same time it's just got a issue of being pretty much a glass cannon even with all of this additional armor on it as i said i'm really looking forward to this because i like the gun i like the general features of the vehicle but if you're looking for a vehicle that's going to excel and take over the battle uh, the battlefield i don't think this is going to be it i think in general i would still want a t-34 over this thing i'd probably still want a sherman with the stabilizer over this thing and I'd, I'd still probably want a Panzer IV over this thing as well. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Brendan Quinn, Vilnaeus, Character Fuel, Juan the Panda, Carrion Crow, 
Gus, Irenicus, Pyman, Merciless Reaper, Orange Tail, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Moxie, B. Young, Bereen, Peter, Grayling, Alan Hacker, Sam Alslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R., and also LaFouche for supporting the channel.